This is what I was greeted with this morning when I'd asked my dog, Maisie, to sit and wait for me. Not quite the outcome I was hoping. So, I wonder whether I should have a conversation with her and do some training now, or tonight, or maybe when I come back from holidays, or maybe when we have our next official training session in three months' time. If she was an employee in the workplace, what would I do if she was failing to follow an instruction? Would I be better to have the conversation now, tomorrow, when the employee comes back from holidays? Or wait for another distraction, like that plane flying over? I think the best thing to do would be able to have the conversation now, so Maisie knows immediately the behaviours that I expect of her. All right, so let's see how we go. Hey. Come here, girl. Come. All right, sit. Good girl. Good girl, sit. And wait. Good girl, wait. Okay, so it is possible. Up, uh, wait, and sit. Oh, that was close. I thought she was going to roll on me. Okay, so it is probably a good idea to have a conversation as soon as you see an employee not following either an appropriate behaviour in the workplace or if they're doing something that's unusual or not part of their project or their work brief to reward them as soon as possible. Cue reward. Good girl, wait. Reinforces the behaviour that we want them to display in the workplace. Maisie, sit. So, if it works for Maisie, why aren't we doing this to the people in our workplace? Why aren't we doing this to our team members? As soon as they demonstrate inappropriate behaviour, let's have the conversation as soon as possible. Sure, you might need to take a few minutes out to go, but you don't want to use distractions like another plane flying over to put it off for another time. It's important to deal with this as soon as possible. Okay, thanks very much for listening. It's Andrea Doyle, Workplace Mediator and Conflict Manager, and Maisie the Jack Russell. Maisie, you do bang bang? Bang bang! <laughs>